I don't care what side of the political aisle you sit on, but I think we can all unanimously agree that listening to Jen Circlebacky speak and do her job is excruciating. I'd rather tie my beanbag to the railing of a bridge and jump off! It's so preposterous to even think that this person is considered a press secretary. That this is the supposed voice. This is the voice representation of the most powerful government on the planet that the world has ever known. I have given Circle Backy a fair shake, and it has been nearly two months since I have smashed my skull into my desk listening to her horrendous deliveries of information in front of the White House podium representing our great nation. Will someone in the White House, for the love of French toast, use the $1.9 trillion that they are about to squander of our tax money to hire a speech coach to inform this woman that in order to deliver a sentence in a logical manner that you can't say um uh, uh um um uh injected in between your sentences and words just don't speak while you're thinking of the next word jen this woman is the worst orator i have ever seen she light hairily cannot finish two sentences without saying uh or um i dare you to find me a single clip where she delivers two or three consecutive sentences without saying uh or um i'll wait she is absolutely horrendous any person with a basic understanding of how speaking works in a public setting or has attended a basic college speaking class or has watched literally a five minute video of themselves would be able to self-correct this horrendous and stupid practice that any basic public speaker should be able to master um in like a minute and if you're over there going well you know this is a lot of pressure being a, a, lot, of, a lot of pressure being in a room with a bunch of bunch of journalists that love you and adore you and ask you softball questions as they tee you up tee balls to hit out of the park and when you miss they're like good job dad but yeah, go ahead and watch a recorded video that is not live, that is not at a podium, and you will see that she literally does the exact same thing. And the absolute hot garbage Joey Basement, Joseph Garbinet, Marionette, Weekend at Bernie's, somebody wake this guy up, I think he's dead right now, but also running the country simultaneously, administration. It's absolutely no surprise that they hired this person. And of course, and what do they do? They put out a video on the White House's official social media pages. Jen Pisaki answers some of your questions. And what were those questions? I bet you think they were hard hitters. Joey Garbage is on 49 some odd days, the longest period of time in U.S. history without the president doing a formal press conference. And they, they put out a two-minute video answering some of your questions. And what was one of those questions? What was one of the questions that Circle Backy answered in this very short two-minute video? What did you have for breakfast? She's like, ah, I love pancakes and waffles sometimes. Depends on the day. Who cares, Jen? Joe's basically dead. There's a humanitarian crisis in Yemen. We're bombing Syria. There's freaking barbed wire fences surrounding the U.S. Capitol. And the only question that they can think to answer as the entire nation stays locked down for a complete bag of malarkey, an ever-changing goalpost, bag of donuts with Lord Fuji at the helm, the climate crisis, the world's going to explode, and we're worried about Jen P. Sackey's fucking waffles. Are you joking? The world is hot fucking trash and they know it and they put out this bag of garbage bill, this $1.9 trillion bill, just spending us all into oblivion as the as we near the end of this complete garbage lie fallacy in the whole first place. And at the very end of it, when nobody needs anything anyways, when, when we're 99% of the way through this stupid thing, they pass this horrendous garbage bill that doesn't do absolutely anything to solve that problem whatsoever. Too little, too late, you garbage merchants. You got Swamp Monster Nancy Pelosi up there being a creature of terror it's acting like she did some great thing when this could have been passed months ago and meanwhile we didn't even need it anyways because all of this was caused by your overreaction and lockdown but whatever this thing's a whole total bag of shit and everyone knows it. it's a charade they're canceling things that don't need to be canceled while leaving much more offensive theoretically offensive things out to land and live and operate out in the open this is a complete horror show a complete lie a complete fallacy a complete double speak complete hypocrisy in every single possible way they could not care about you you. They could not care about us. They caused the vast majority of these problems and here they are to save the day, save the day. Meanwhile, they spend us into oblivion, just bankrupt our future, our children,
children's children don't. And then to top it all off, you're gonna have this George Floyd trial, and they're gonna ram this down every single person's throat. And as, they, and as they've been stoking all of this racial divide for months, while completely suppressing the true nature of the story, the true video, the true autopsy results, the truth about what actually happened. They're gonna ram this down everybody's throats. They're not gonna get the result that anybody actually thinks is gonna happen, and it's gonna be an uproar. And they're gonna stoke it, and pump it, and fan the flames, and further to divide, and further the amount of money that goes into the pockets of the politicians to control it, to fix it, and the mainstream media companies that are now generating your attention and eyeballs as you get pissed at the person next to you for something that most people don't even take the time to understand with any depth. Because in case you didn't notice or take the time to do the research, there is absolutely no evidence to suggest that George Floyd was murdered because of his race. Or even that he was necessarily murdered in the first place. George Floyd's autopsy says that he died from a fentanyl overdose and complications from that and methamphetamine. Look at the look at it. Watch the video. You watch the video of him saying that he couldn't breathe. You watch the full video, not the video that you saw, the video that no one saw. That's where the truth lies, but most people didn't even have a chance to see that. They waited to bring that video out until after the riots. And as absolute clowns and dead people like Joey Basement pumped this George Floyd story and used it to his political game throughout the campaign, and when this does not go the way that they want, when they don't get the second degree murder charge that they're going after, people are gonna flip out and Joey Basement and all these other people are gonna continue to use this to stoke the racial divide. Meanwhile, the cops in Minneapolis, they gotta, they gotta put more money back into the police now. This is completely bad in every way and the media is largely to blame and also a lot of people that didn't take the time to understand the true nature and depth of this story by doing their own research. But hey, who cares about that? Who cares about the truth? Who cares about what actually happened? As long as you can use that to your political benefit, as long as you can use it to divide people, then all is, then all is fine. No big deal. Let's just bundle in all of the other actual real injustices that are caused by race and let's just jumble it into this one. And if anybody thinks that it's a good idea that Derek Chauvin go to prison or gets, or gets sent to prison by mob rule because the mob is angry and people are threatened people you don't understand what it's like to be an American where, where every single person deserves a free and fair trial and this is not mob rule that is why this is America that's why we believe and love this place but whatever no big deal no one cares no one's gonna do any research anyways race 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 equality equity 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 who cares at 8 p.m. tonight Joey basement's gonna get thrown onto the screen and marionetted through another garbage speech that he didn't write answer no questions tell you corona clap corona clap corona clap I saved the world where a diaper George Floyd George Floyd's daughter looked up to me and said daddy saved the world yo it's gonna be a bunch of garbage every single thing that these people are doing is trash they're destroying America bag of donuts earth is trash